exploring the hidden features of Android is always an exciting experience and the developer option menu is a treasure trove of powerful tools that can help you personalize your device and enhance its performance. For instance, you can tweak your device's animation speed to make it feel faster or you can even force split mode for non-supported apps and you also have a hidden setting to improve your graphics while you are gaming. All this and much more in today's episode in which I'll be showcasing 12 hidden and secret developer option tricks that will make you a pro Android user. Also, let's try to hit 3000 likes on this video if you really like what we are doing on this channel. Now before you can access the developer option menu on your Android device, you need to enable it first. To do this, simply go to the setting app, then navigate to about phone or about device and look for the build number. Tap on the build number several times until you see a message that says you are now a developer and the developer option will be enabled. Now your phone's screen may have the ability to display smooth and fluid animations at a high refresh rate, but that doesn't mean it always does. Sometimes you may notice that the screen become choppy and sluggish as if it can't keep up with your actions. This could be because some apps are not optimized for high refresh rate. However, if you have a screen that can go up to 90, 120 hertz or even higher, you may want to enjoy the full potential of your display. Luckily, Android has a hidden secret that lets you force the maximum refresh rate to be used everywhere in the system. From the developer option, find the toggle on the force peak refresh rate option. This will allow your device to run at maximum refresh rate, providing you with the best possible experience. With this feature enabled, you will notice a significant improvement in the smoothness of your device's animations, scrolling, and overall user experience. Have you ever noticed that your phone's battery seems to drain faster than it should, even when you are not actively using it? If so, you may be dealing with a frustrating issue that caused by certain apps that prevent your phone from entering a deep sleep mode. To identify which app are causing this problem, head to your phone's developer option and look for background check setting. This option shows you a list of all the apps that are currently running in the background and preventing your phone from entering deep sleep mode. Now, if you don't see any app listed here, then it means you are okay. However, if you do see some apps listed, you can take steps to address the issue by disabling the apps. Your smartphone is like a personal assistant that knows everything about you. But sometimes you may want to keep some things to yourself. If you are concerned about your privacy in certain situations, then you can use a handy quick toggle to turn off all your phone's sensor including GPS, microphone, camera, accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity sensor and even magnetometer. This way, no app on your phone can access or use any of these sensors while the toggle is on. Adding this feature to your device quick setting panel is quite easy. Simply head over to the device's setting and click on developer option and then quick setting developer tiles. Finally, toggle on sensor off option. Once added, this feature will appear in the first position of your quick setting panel or notification shade. However, you can easily move it to any location you see fit. It is worth noting that this toggle won't affect your mobile data or Wi-Fi connection. Do you feel like your Android device could be just a little bit faster? Despite the advancement in technology, it is not uncommon for a user to experience some sluggishness and lag when navigating their devices. But what if I told you that there is a secret trick to make your device feel snappier without any additional hardware or software upgrades? By accessing the developer option on your device and adjusting the window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale to 0.5x, you can make your device feel much quicker and smoother. While it may not actually speed up your device, this trick can certainly create the illusion of greater speed and responsiveness, making your device feel more satisfying to use. The default split screen mode in Android is undoubtedly a game changer when it comes to effective multitasking on your device. However, it can be a major letdown when you are unable to use this feature with certain applications such as Instagram due to compatibility issues. Thankfully, with the advent of Android 12 and 13, there is a solution that can solve this problem for you. Hidden within the developer options section lies a toggle that enables you to force split screen mode, even for unsupported apps on your Android phone or tablet. To enable this feature, just head over to developer option. You will find the toggle to force activities to be resized. Once you activated this option, you can start using split screen mode with any app, 
regardless of whether it is supported or not. With this feature, you will be able to take full advantage of your device's multitasking capabilities and maximize your productivity. Are you ready to take your Android gaming experience to the next level? If you have a high-end device with great graphics performance, you can make your 3D game look even better. It's all thanks to a little unknown option tucked away in the developer option. By enabling the Force 4X MSAA option, you can force Android to use 4X multi-sample anti-aliasing in OpenGL ES 2.0 games and other apps. Essentially, this makes jacked edges and rough edges in your game's graphics smoother and more polished, giving you a more immersive and visual stunning experience. Of course, this option requires more graphic power, which may cause your device's battery to drain faster. But if you are a hardcore gamer, you will likely find this trade-off worth it. Now many apps rely on your location to provide certain features or services. But sometimes you may want to use an app without revealing your real location. Or you may want to pretend that you are somewhere else for fun or convenience. That's where the select mock location app option comes in handy. You can use this option with an app like GPS emulator and fool your device and the app on it into believing that you are at a different place than you actually are. Now why would you want to do this? Well you could fake a GPS check-in at a place without actually visiting it or prank your friends in a location tracking app by seemingly traveling around the world in minutes. Many Android devices offer you a way to view your RAM usage and see which apps are using the most RAM. However, some Android devices don't offer this feature and that's where the developer options come in to help. Here you will find an option called running services that lets you see RAM usage in real time. It shows you the RAM usage of the operating system and the apps and you can see the apps that are currently running in memory. You can even tap on an app and stop it if you are facing RAM issues. Now this is really useful because you can find apps that might be slowing down your phone. By stopping those apps from running in the background, you can free up more RAM and make your phone even faster. Android 10 bought a cool feature that lets you switch your device to a system-wide dark mode which can be easier on your eye and also save battery life. Most apps have updated to support this feature but some may not have caught up yet. If you're using an app such as Amazon app, you might find yourself squinting at bright white screen when you switch to dark mode. Thankfully, you can use override force dark option in the developer options to force app to use dark mode even if they don't officially support it. However, be aware that doing so may cause some display issues such as unreadable text or weird looking colors. Nonetheless, it's a useful trick to have in your toolkit if you want full dark theme phone experience. Now, if you are looking to fine-tune your Android device performance, the background process limit setting in the developer option can be a useful tool. With this setting, you have the ability to control the number of apps that continue to run in the background. While the default limit is set to 4 apps, you can also choose to have no background apps running at all. By selecting the zero background process option, you will be able to ensure that your device is fully dedicated to the current app you are using. This means that you will have all the Android's resources and attention at your disposal, providing a seamless and uninterrupted experience. However, it is worth noting that this option does come with a trade-off. If you frequently switch between apps, you may notice a slight lag in app load time as they will need to restart each time from scratch. Have you ever connected your Android phone to your computer only to find that you need to perform the extra annoying step of tracking down the notification panel and selecting the bottom notification to change the USB preference to file transfer? It's a small inconvenience but one that can add up over time. Thankfully, there is an easy way to save yourself this extra step in the future. By navigating to developer option, you can access a setting called default USB configuration. From here, you can select the default configuration for whatever you connect your phone to. If you frequently transfer files between the phone and computer, you can select the file transfer option as your default USB configuration. That way, the next time you connect your phone, your file will automatically pop up on your computer without needing to do anything else. Have you ever been frustrated by the sluggishness of your mobile data connection after your phone switched from Wi-Fi? If so, there is a simple trick that can help speed things up, a setting in the Android's phone developer option. Although this setting won't directly improve your mobile data speed, it can make noticeable difference in how quickly your phone switches to mobile data after a Wi-Fi signal drops. The benefit of this setting is that you will experience less lag time when switching from Wi-Fi to data, so you will stay connected even when you are on the go. 
However, if your mobile data plan is limited, enabling this feature can be risky. So guys, these are some of the best and hidden developer option tricks that will make you a pro Android user. So which of the developer option trick you like the most? Do you know of any other trick that we should have added to this list? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.